it would be a really great idea if we could have the different uh, representatives from the initiatives come together and uh, educate everybody about their uh, initiatives and what makes each one unique. Uh, so thanks uh, to the help of uh, all the authors of the initiatives who are here, uh, all of you for coming, we've been able to uh, make that happen. Uh, so let me first introduce uh, the speakers that we have tonight. Um, for the Medical Marijuana Regulation Control and Taxation Act, we have Dale Geringer. <laughs> for the Regulation of Marijuana Like Wine Act of 2012, we have uh, Steve Collette. For the Repeal Cannabis Prohibition Act of 2012, we have Bill Panzer. And for the California Cannabis Hemp and Health Initiative 2012, we have Buddy Doozy. Let's just start with uh, Mr. Collette, who is closest to me, and we'll work our way down. Thank you very much. Um, first of all, I'd like to say it's an honor uh, to be here with uh, the other three representatives. Um, we're all uh, a part of the same community. I think we have many of the same uh, objectives. Um, I've uh, told everybody I'll sign all the other petitions, and um, I have. In fact, we've offered uh, petitions on all the initiatives from my offices in uh, Venice. And uh, I just want to let everybody know that I'm here because uh, I believe in uh, all the initiatives. Uh, but I'll tell you first about ours. When I'm thanking everybody here, I'd also like to give a special thanks to Richard Lee. Because as we're all struggling to get on... As we're all struggling to get on the ballot, we look back and say, wow. Uh, that guy really made a sacrifice. He was a real hero, and uh, I don't think any of us would have advanced as far as we have in this process if it wasn't for Richard Lee. Uh, our initiative has uh, some characteristics that are unique that I think are very special. Uh, one is that um, we tell the state that they can't assist the federal government uh, in enforcing their laws. They're enjoined from doing that. Uh, we, we believe that this is a, a provision that will um, help everybody, uh, medical marijuana patients, uh, caregivers, uh, and, uh, and dispensaries. Um, and uh, we think it will strengthen California's hand in ending marijuana prohibition nationwide in the long run. If we can get regulated marijuana like wine on the ballot this year, we're going to win. Uh, we have a, a terrific group of people working on the initiatives. Uh, Jim Gray just got back yesterday from uh, Mexico where he was with the First Lady of Mexico, a couple of other world leaders, and, and spoke about our initiative and the mess that has been caused in Mexico. Uh, it was an inspiring conversation, um, and I guess it was a terrific convention. Jim Gray's one of our uh, biggest advocates. Uh, we also have Stephen Downing. Uh, we've been endorsed by uh, uh, Alice Huffman, who's um, President of the California NAACP. Uh, and we, we have a wide group. We've been endorsed by uh, uh, several Republican legislators. Uh, Dana Rohrbacher, a congressman. And uh, Chris Norby, uh, assemblyman. So we really have a wide range of people supporting this initiative. Regulating marijuana like wine uh, provides that uh, the regulating like wine will be done by the alcoholic beverage control. There's so we don't need to create any new bureaucratic uh, regulator in this case. State officials will be prohibited from helping the federal government enforce their laws on marijuana. 
And uh, we also, I'm sure everybody else agrees with me on this, we are also very supportive of Colorado and Washington. Uh, who, uh, both of them, uh, looks like they're going to get on the ballot. And uh, when California, Colorado, and Washington uh, repeals these pro prohibition laws, I think the federal government's going to have a really tough time enforcing it. Yeah. Cost of marijuana will go down significantly. Uh, there may, there, there will be some uh, very high-end ones. We think, like the wine industry, uh, there are going to be some, uh, you know, some very fine wines and some very high-end marijuana. But there's going to be some inexpensive marijuana, and we're hoping that happens uh, for a number of reasons. One is to disempower. Gangs, terrorists, and drug cartels that make ridiculous amounts of money on the illegal drug trade. The real problem with uh, children is caused by prohibition. Exactly. And uh, if we really want to protect our children, uh, we'll end prohibition. Will uh, keep them from being railroaded into a life of limitations because they got arrested for something that we've all done, and uh, they won't be. There won't be the same kind of violence going on. Uh, kids get shot in crossfire. Uh, their parents may be incarcerated. Uh, so this is all about protecting the children. And uh, I'd like to add one other provision of our, of our initiative is that it dismisses all pending cases. <laughs>